So JT, what test are we carrying out now? Continuity ring final. Brilliant. The distribution board itself is isolated where? Is isolated. It's switched off in here, but isolated out on the main supply switch as well. Okay, we've got an outside cupboard where we've got a linked main switch. Yep. We've locked off. We've proved it's dead off camera, and now we're carrying out the ring final circuit yep. test. Stage one, you're going to do what for me, please? End-to-end -end test. Okay, and you're going to start with? I'm going to start with the RN. Okay, yeah, let's do that one. So a little RN. What reading have we got? 0.23 ohms. Okay, what do you expect to get when you do little R1, the line conductors? Exactly the same. Same same cable size. It's all just run through on the rings. So. And same length as well. Yeah. yeah, brilliant. Let's see what we do get. I think that's my connection. Okay, nice. Give me a little squeeze. 0.23. Okay, that's brilliant. And what do we expect now when we get the CPCs, little R2? Uh, higher reading because it's got a smaller cable size and it's roughly 1.67 times. So let's take the reading. Okay, from that of the live conductors, brilliant. Let's see what we get. 0.36. So yes, yeah, so it's a, a lot higher. Okay, brilliant. Let's get ready for stage two. Excellent. So what have you done now for me, JT? I've connected opposite line, opposite neutral into a connector block so I can carry out my test. I've already done a mathematical test of little r1 plus uh, little rn divided by four, so I've got a reading of 0 0.115 my test reading will be as close to because of the decimal point range. Yeah, we only go to a couple of decimal points of this mega MFT. Let's take our first reading from inside the connector block, which is what I like to see. So let's see what reading we get there. Press nice and firmly. And we've got, well, brilliant. 0 so, we've got, so that's, yeah, really good. So each socket outlet on the circuit when we test it next, we expect to be within what tolerance of the mathematical reading? 0 0.05 either way. Okay, brilliant. Let's do that next. Excellent. So we're at the socket outlet on the ring final circuit then, so let's do the test. You've got a reading of? 0 0.13, 12. Okay, which is actually perfect, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, spot on. Yeah, okay. We said the tolerance was? 0 0.05 either side. Are we going to record these readings that we take at every socket outlet on the ring final circuit on our test paperwork? No, no, we won't. Why are we carrying this test out then? To prove part polarity and part ring final circuit. Are you going to test the other side of the socket as yeah, well for me? Yeah, test it to make sure the switch is working. Okay, brilliant. So we're at the next socket outlet on the ring final circuit, JT, so you can perform the test again for me, please. What reading have we got? 0 0.10. Is that within the tolerance of the calculated reading? Yeah, it's within the tolerance. What are we going to do now, JT? Test the other side of the uh, socket and then work our way around the ring. Okay, let's do that next. So JT, we're at stage three of the ring final circuit test. What have you linked together in the consumer unit for me now? I've linked opposite line, opposite CPC. And what was the calculated reading for R1 plus R2? Uh, 0.215 ohms, but it'll be rounded up to 0.22. Okay, let's see what we get then. We'll go across the connector block. 0.22. Okay, spot on then. So we're going to go around each socket in turn. Of all the readings we achieve now, do we record any of them? Yeah, we'll record the highest reading. Okay, excellent. Let's do that next. Cool. So we're at one of the sockets on the ring final circuit, so let's test it here then, JT. Okay. Just remind me, are we going to record any of these readings? Yeah, we'll be recording the highest reading. Okay, and all the sockets on the ring final circuit, we expect to get a very similar reading with that tolerance again, which is? 0 0.05, higher or lower. Uh, the switches at socket outlet is going to be left in which position? On position. Because we need them on for which test? Insulation resistance. Good. Which other test will be completed once we go around every socket on the ring? Polarity. As well as? Uh, continuity of ring final. Let's get moving round. Excellent. So is that the ring final circuit test JT completed? Yeah, it has completed it. What was the highest reading achieved at stage three? 0.24 ohms. And we're going to record that in our test paper. Do yeah, you agree? Yeah, we will, yeah. Okay, JT, thank you very much for your time. So I'd like to thank JT for showing us his ring final circuit test on site. We did all the other tests with him as well, but it was nice to see the ring final circuit test. I hope this video has been some help.